Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, I wanna to do something a little bit different. I am thinking of doing a reading vlog today. I have several books obviously on my November TBR and I'm in the middle of a few of them. So I was thinking it would be nice to go down to a coffee shop or a place that has some really nice lunch, read some books, possibly go to a bookstore and film some of that for you guys. Even check in with you guys and let you know how the books are going and hopefully finish them while I am out today or while I'm back at home in the afternoon. But I really wanna take you guys along with my day. I guess you can kind of say this is a day in the life with me a little bit, um, but there will be reading in there, of course. So obviously it's gonna be a reading vlog, but I'm so very glad that you guys are here with me today. I'm so very glad that you clicked on this video today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the YouTube video. It helps me out so very much. And comment down below one of the books that you are currently reading in your November TBR and how is it going so far. And yeah, so let's jump straight into the video. to go in and look at that. I'll be sure to like post some footage for you guys. And if I get any books, I'll have a little mini haul that I'll show um, towards the end of this video of everything that I was able to purchase. Um, and maybe if we're lucky, we might pop into Barnes and Noble, but I kind of feel like Barnes and Noble is everywhere. And if you haven't seen, I'll post a card up here, but my vlog, New York City vlog video, I went to the Barnes and Noble there. So I mean like Barnes and Noble is pretty much everywhere. So I kind of feel like we kind of all know what's in Barnes and Noble. Although in New York, when I went, there were a few books um, that weren't at the Barnes and Noble in my state. So, I mean, maybe like there's a few here and there, but I'll definitely be sure to show the footage of that if I go there too and if I get any books. Um, but yeah, and then I think I might treat myself out. Usually I cook and I eat at home. Like I'm really big on like, healthy eating, meal planning, fitness, kind of that stuff. So I rarely eat out. And if I do, it's like a special occasion. Like next weekend, I'm gonna be going out with my family for my sister's 22nd birthday. So like, I'm gonna end up eating out that day, but mostly I eat at home and I cook my food. I enjoy cooking. Um, but I think I'm gonna take myself to this place. I've never been, and it's called Lula's. I'll post it up here, I believe it's Lula's. But they apparently have really nice lattes and really cute food. I saw like a Buddha bowl. I saw some other grain bowls that looked really interesting and tasty. So I think I might grab one of those and do some reading. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. As I am filming this, it is Saturday the 12th of November and I'm having a pretty good day so far. I'm doing a little bit of a solo date type of thing. Um, I have some plans this evening to go hang out with some friends and do a game day. So I'm super stoked about that and spend some time with my younger sisters. Super stoked about that too. So yeah, all in all, it's a really good day and I hope that you guys are well and I hope that your day is going good. And if you could down in the comments below, let me know what you're doing today on a Saturday in November. Are you going to any apple orchards? Are you hanging out with friends or family? Are you going to a bookstore? Are you gonna have a latte? Let me know. I would love to discuss it in the comments. Um Alright, 
So let's go in and see what this is all about because it came up as a bookstore on my search. second and Charles and as you can see it is nice you know it's filled with a lot of like knick-knack and hobby like things so there were books there were collectors items there were musical instruments records CDs movies DVDs um, tote bags mugs um, themed items so a lot of like Disney themed items or movie themed items like there was a whole Hocus Pocus stand there was a Harry Potter stand there was the Lord of the Rings stand there were like different uh, manga and anime stands so I thought that was really nice it's definitely a place if you're a person who really enjoys a specific thing that I'd say hands down 100% you need to get into that store because then you'll be able to find specific things for the exact hobby or the exact like um tv show or book you like reading you know what I mean so yeah I really like it I think I might pop into Barnes and Noble just because Barnes and Noble is an OG and I kind of want to buy a book I don't know if anybody else feels that way but I kind of feel like when you love books and you're just into them buying a book just makes you so happy even if it's not necessarily a book you want to read right now just the act of buying a book just brings so much joy to your heart so I think I am going to go into Barnes and Noble and just kind of poke around a little bit and see what I can find hopefully I'll find something that I want and purchase that and then I'm gonna head to Lula's all right so I just made it to Lula's cafe I'm gonna go in and get myself something to drink maybe something to eat not exactly sure if I'm actually hungry um and while I've been in the car although I haven't been able to show you guys because I've been driving I have been listening to the audiobook book one of Percy Jackson and I'll post a picture of it up here I absolutely love it the narrator is amazing if you have not gone on audible or if you haven't even read the books in general and you want to listen to the first book on audible the way he reads his tone of voice just his voice in general makes you really dive into the character and I love it 
I do plan on getting the entire full set on Amazon, so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to listen through it to, through Audible, but I love the way he narrates. I think it makes me dive deeper into the story, so I have to see. But I also got some books at Barnes & Noble, and then I got something at, Lula, um, at Second and Charles. So when I get home, I will do a mini little haul with you guys, or I might do it in my car after I finish eating. And yeah, and I hope you guys kind of like this stuff that I bought. So let's go inside. make sure I like post all that stuff in here and I read Unravel Me a little bit and then I nearly finished the book um Prince Caspian but I kind of want to savor it to like tonight to finish it like when I'm getting ready for bed but yes it was super fun the latte was really good I also had this vegan like little cookie ball bite thing um that was also kind of tasty so when I was at second in Charles I got this cute tote bag. I have one currently that I literally use the mess out of. I got it for Christmas last year that says, say hello to my little friend. Super cute. Like I've used it to like, it's not even the tote texture anymore. So I got this one, it's super cute. It was $14.99 and it says, read books, read books, read books. And obviously, oh no, it says read a book, read a book, read a book. But it's super cute and really big. It has pockets on both sides and then in the inside it has a little zipper you know little thing it's really nice super big it's really durable too made of really nice tote material so I'll definitely be able to put books in there take with me to work take with me on trips you know the the huge and then obviously in Barnes and Noble I was weak like we all are when we walk in Barnes and Noble we see all the books so I got two books from Barnes & Noble. And actually, these were books that are not on my TBR list at all. These are just books that I saw because, you guys, I went into Barnes & Noble and they literally had a section for books about books. Like, they just knew Olivia was coming into the store and they were like, you know what? Let's let this girl know we love her money and we love her buying books here. So let's give her a specific little section with all the books about books, you know? So I was feeling it. So I went in and I bought two books, uh, which I feel really stupid about because the amount of money that I'm gonna end up spending on books this month is gonna be astronomical because I have several of them that I need for videos next month. And if you haven't seen, I'll post the card up here somewhere. My last video was an ASMR bedtime reading video. And by the time that you guys are reading this, the second video will have already been up part two for that book. Um, but I was thinking for Vlogmas this year, I would love to try it and do my best. So I've never read the Harry Potter series and I wanna get the full box set on Amazon it's like 38 bucks where it's like it might be like over a hundred like at Barnes and Noble um so I'm gonna buy it and I believe the first two books have enough chapters and enough pages that I can 
read them throughout the month of December and every day post some of that, like a chapter or two a day as my little vlogmas, you know, cozy in front of my Christmas tree for you guys. I think it could be fun just so I can get some content out there. If you've never read it or if it's nostalgic for you and you love it and you want to hear somebody read it to you while you get cozy with hot cocoa next to your Christmas tree or on your couch or in your bed getting ready to go to sleep. So I thought that would be fun to do. So I know that that's a set I need to get this month. I have like next books and series that I need to get for next month. So I should be ashamed of myself. Basically, it's what I'm trying to say about buying these books, but I couldn't resist because they're amazing. So the first book I got is called The Band Bookshop by Maggie Banks, or no, The Band Bookshop of Maggie Banks. And this is by Shauna Robinson. And first of all, look at that melanin queen though. I mean, I needed it. <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, honestly. But besides that, it's a book about books. And I'll read the back of you for, uh, for you guys. It says, when Maggie Banks arrives at Bell River to run her best friend's struggling bookstore, she expects to sell bestsellers to her small town clientele. But running a bookshop in a town with a famously bookshop hi bookish history isn't easy. Bell River's Literary Society insists on keeping the bookstore stuck in the past and Maggie is banned from selling anything written in this century. So when a series of mishaps suddenly tips the bookstore toward ruin, Maggie will have to get creative to keep the bookshop afloat. And in Maggie's world, books, rules, and book rules are made to be broken. I like that. Book rules are made to be broken. They are. You know what? I just love that. And it says, to help save the bookstore, Maggie starts an underground book club, running a series of events celebrating the book readers, the books readers actually love. But keeping the book club silent, selling forbidden books, and dodging the literary society is nearly impossible, especially when Na Maggie unearths a town secret that could upend everything. Maggie will have to decide what's more important, the books that formed a small town's history or the stories posed to change it all. And that sounds super interesting. I'm absolutely obsessed of the color, this like rusty orange, super cute, super excited to dive into that. And then the last book that I got is called... Zabor or the Psalms by Kamel Daoud. I believe that's how you pronounce his name and the name of the book. But this sounded stunningly beautiful. I'll read to you what this says. It says, having lost his mother and been shunned by his father, Zabor grows up in the company of books, which teach him a new language. Ever since he can remember, he has been convinced that he has a gift. If he writes, he will stave off death. Those captured in the sentences of his notebooks will live longer like a kind of inverted shkelzadad. Don't know how to pronounce that. Saving his fellow men, he experiments night after night with the delirious power of his imagination. Then, one night, his estranged half-brother and other relatives who have disowned him come knocking at the door. His father is going to die. Perhaps only Zabar is capable of delaying the fateful moment. Sitting, at, sitting next to his father who has ostracized him, the son writes compulsively, retrace compulsively retracing an existence characterized by strangeness, abandonment, and humiliation, but also by wondrous encounters with fictional worlds that he alone in the entire village can access. So it sounds really nice. It sounds like a redemption story, just a story of someone who has struggled their whole entire life, but uses books and writing and words to change the course of their life and ultimately changing the course of someone's life who although hurt them deeply, he cares enough about to bring them peace through books and writing and reading. So I absolutely love that. I'm super excited to dive into both of these. So yeah, whenever I get into them, I'm definitely gonna let you know. I'll be sure to link them down below. I'll link the store that I went to today. I'll also link the cafe that I went to today. I had a super fun day with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for being here. Please do not forget to give it a like, give it a little thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it so much. And comment down below one of your favorite cafes. And when you go to the cafe, what's your favorite drink? What's your favorite treat? I would love to know. And if you've gotten to the end of this video, can you kindly post this emoji, a little coffee cup down below for me? I would really appreciate it. it let's you know that you've watched all the content to this very moment right here. And yeah, I love you guys. I thank you so very much for being here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye friends.